All right, so a couple things we need to know. We're given secant, right? First thing we need to understand is, you know, what does secant even represent? So by using, like I said, that's what I'm telling you guys, those two pages are so important. We can say that um, secant of theta is the same thing as one over cosine of theta, correct? Okay, so if, um, or we could also say that cosine of theta equals <coughs> one over secant of theta, correct? Because remember, what our idea is, we need to find out what is the angle measure that we're given, or what is the degree measure. So if I say secant of theta is two, well, that's the same thing as, which one is cosine of theta of secant is two over one half? Now this is something a little bit more manageable, cosine of one half, do you see what I did? We know that these two are interchangeable. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, cosine is the reciprocal of secant, right? Those are interchangeable. So what I did is, I don't really, when we look at our unit circle, we're not very familiar, please put that away. We're not very familiar with secant, cotangent, and cosecant. So the best thing that I would say to do is rewrite it in sine, cosine, and tangent. Because let's look at our unit circle. You guys have the unit circle, right? And we talked about my three important points. The first one was pi over six. And at pi over six, or 30 degree, or at um, 30 degrees, we have th two points, square root of three over two and one half, right? The next one was pi over four. At pi over four, our coordinates on the unit circle were square root of two over two, comma, square root of two over two. And the last one, at pi over three, which was 60 degrees, our degree, <coughs> our coordinate points were one half and square root of three over two, right? Is everybody following me with this? All I did was I just rewrote the first quadrant of the unit circle. So what they're asking for is when secant of theta equals two, what is the angle measure? Well, I said, instead of writing secant of two, it's much easier for me to figure out secant of two is equal to cosine of one half. Those are the exact same. So where is my cosine, at what angle theta is cosine equal to one half. Now remember, cosine of any point T, remember T is any point on the unit circle. Cosine of any point T is equal to your X coordinate. So where is my X coordinate equal to one half? James, where's my X coordinate equal to one half? You look up there, you say, oh, it's right there, right? So then we need to determine what is our angle in degrees for this point? Well, remember, this was 30 degrees, that's 45, so it's 60 degrees. So you could say theta equals 60 degrees or pi over 3. Any questions? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm.